let's jump to the war here. And today we're going to be playing some Warhammer 2. Except that I'm not actually going to be playing. Mrs. Legend, my wife, is going to be playing. And I'm just going to be advising. I'm going to be, we're going to be playing Mortal Empires. What race do you... Well, what kind of race do you want to play in this? Um, are there some of them that, like, ride around on monsters and stuff? Because I want that. Yeah. Okay, D what kind of monsters do you want, I guess? Um... Like, do you want dinosaurs? Do you want rats? Do you want... No rats. Do you want, uh, cavalry? Like, do you want the know. running boars? Dinosaurs sounds good, or something like that. Okay, so those two over there, then the yellow, Mazda Mundi and Krokgar, those are your options. I'd probably, for this video, go Mazda Mundi. Mr. Popo over here. Yeah. Uh, I don't really look like Mr. Popo, but I okay. guys do. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> So, you're going to be playing on Legendary Difficulty, despite the fact that you've never played this game before. Yeah, and this is actually a really hard start position. Will Even I get those? Uh, Dragon things? I don't know if you start off with them. I can't remember. I want those. Alright, well, okay. whenever you're ready, press start. And we'll just see how you go. I'm not going to tell you every little thing how to play. I want you to make your own mistakes, but... Is that his face or is that his face? That's his face. He's like a giant toad. I thought. Blessings to you, Lord of the he's, he's more like Jabba the Hutt. Your domain is prosperous yeah, and powerful. Yet the same so press escape if you want to skip this. Huh. Huh. Hexawaddle? Yep. Hmm, okay, now what? Is that a bad guy? Yep, anything that's got, say, a red red bar next to their um, banner is an enemy. Where did he come from? He didn't come from there. He came from up here. I guess so. Um, is this my army? Yep. What's that? That's one of your heroes. What does that do? So you can either leave him in your cities, or in your region, or you can attach him to your army and, and he'll fight in the battle on your do side. Do I have any other armies? No. So, can I attach him to that army then? Yep. Is that a good idea? Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea. That's probably what I'd do as well. Oh, oh. Lord Mazdamundi. Grants 30 experience per turn. <laughs> Okay, now should I go fight this guy? Yep. He ran away. Yep. Uh oh. What happened? Nothing. Can you not go that far? No, you can attack him. It was just saving. The game saves after every decision, oh. so. Should I fight it or? Probably should. Order resolving has a habit of nuking certain units. Units and learn their strengths and weaknesses. So what do I have? That's a croxagore. What's that mean? A they crocodile? are like yeah, they're crocodiles. Creative naming. What's this? Should I hit gamble? It's up to you. I mean, it's just winds of magic. Um, it's not overly important for this because you've only, I'm pretty sure you've only got like one or two spells. So. Okay. All right. So he's got he's got two spells. He's got. If we hover over them, I'll explain that Are a little bit. Are these the spells? Yeah, there's the two spells. So they both use magic. That one uses up six magic. If you see up the top of its of its card there, see how it's like magical six. Mhm. Mm That's how much it uses up. Does it take thirty seconds to regenerate? Th so 30 seconds after it's been cast, you can cast it again. So it provides one unit and a stat buff for 22 seconds. The other one, um, that heals them a little bit. Ah, so probably use this one first, and mm. then that one if you're You like could always just wait. I, I don't know. We'll see how we go. <coughs> and I what are all of these? What's this? That's a temple guard unit. Just a good melee infantry. That's that hero unit. Oh, that's that dude? Yep. So what do I use him for? So he's sort of like a duelist. You can get him to fight the enemy lord. Is that like the enemy general? Yeah. 
Is, is that what that means? Melee? Sort of. Are these like the archer things? Not really archers. They just use a few javelins before they get into melee, but they're not very good melee units. I wish there wasn't bloody trees. I know, right? I I'm always, I'm always hating on them fucking trees. Well, I can't see what's going on. What do they have? So they've got two, two different types of units you need to be aware of. Horses? Yeah, so those are marauder horsemen. They have javelins or axes that they throw. Is that more of the same? Yeah, more of the same. You're going to have a hard time shooting or getting to them. I'd recommend using the skink javelin men to shoot at the, the, the what, other what, horsemen. What, 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 what? Yeah, this? Th no. These? Those ones with ammo, yeah. Shoot the horses? Yeah. But keep your army together. Don't just select attack right at the start. Okay. Should I just start and then, like, start moving them? Yeah. Move, move out of the trees and get organized. So hold the front line with your infantry. Keep your missile units in reserve. Maybe keep your tank in the center as well. And keep your heroes in reserve. So move these like here? Maybe that's a bit close. But then they'll still be in the trees. No, they won't. Did I move this one? No. What's this one? Crocs of yours. speed up a bit more than that. I just did it twice. No, no, it d you have to click the next button over for oh. it to go faster. Never mind. Mm. What should I do now? So send these ones in first? No, not necessarily first, but just be aware of where the enemy infantry are, or where the enemy cavalry are doing. You mm. have to be able to react to what your enemy is doing. They're moving! You don't want to take such big movements because you're going to get in range and then they're going to start moving towards you whilst you're still moving and you're not going to be able to charge or throw up any missiles. What should I do? Well, just don't make such big movements. Move them little bits at a time, especially since you don't know what you're doing. Keep your What's army together. What's that thing together. doing? That's your, here, that's your general. So much Yep, that's good. Should I use these on here? Mm, just let the let the skinks do their thing first. Usually, the ideal situation with a battle is if you've got skirmish superiority, which you do, let the skirmish phase go first. If you don't have skirmish superiority, then you rush to begin with. But since you've got skirmish superiority, let the skirmish go first. Okay. Look, that's working. Yep. Okay, they've had enough and they're, they're coming into melee now. So you, you want to get your tanky unit, the Bastillodon. Uh, what does that mean? The, the one that looks like a Stegosaurus. This? Yeah. Get that to attack their general. Ooh, which one's the general? This one? See that little icon there? You can always tell the general by that. Maybe zoom in a little bit more. What icon? Yeah, the that... glowing thing? No, no, no. It's like a star icon. That's how yeah, you know but he's glowing, is. so can I tell by that too? I guess so. Could also be because that's what you selected. Oh man, that is the slowest thing ever. Got other infantry not in combat. Where? These two? No. Yeah, that one Oh, there. that one there. Uh, send him to fight the other way. This way? Yeah. Now grab Master Mundi and use Apotheosis on this? the Croxicles. No. This one? Yeah. To heal them? Yeah. Does he have to be like close enough or something? He was close enough. I should have made them walk around. Can I use like. This? Yeah, you anything? can send him into combat if you want. Is that a good idea? He'll he'll be okay. Hmm. It's all very slow. 
Maybe click on Master Mundy again and use that spell again. This one again? Yep. On them again? Either or that, that or, or that. Yeah, that's, I was actually going to say the other one. It doesn't revive those that have already died, but at least it will keep those that are still alive fighting this a little bit longer. What? He's flashing. Oh. Does that mean he's just taking damage? Yeah. Can I use the, um, like the boost spell? You don't really need to in this scenario. You can if you want. Is that my people running away? No, you're running them down. Oh. I think I'm winning. You're definitely winning. You were never going to lose this battle, but you've done pretty well. Get the Bastillid on to go back and fight the enemy general. Your, your, um, your hero's getting smashed. He's losing. This? Yeah. Use Apotheosis on him. Go back to one time speed. Go mm. too fast. Use this on him? Yeah. Use this for what? No, or it's all good. The battle's over. You've won. Oh. Now, we can end the battle now. No, don't, don't end it yet. Okay, get get your Sora Scar veteran, so your hero unit, and go put him next to Master Mundi. It's a little trick, I'll tell you. So... He'll retain the damage that's been done to him on the campaign map. But since Mazda Mundi has got plenty of magic and a healing spell, we can heal him and the Bastilodon. Get the Bastilodon over here as well. I don't know. Oh, it's yeah, you did it. Now speed it up. Now click on Mazda Mundi and use Apotheosis on the guy. Now he's got another ability on his left which also does healing. This? Yep. Yep, do that if you want. And click oh. on him. Or the other one. It does healing. Now it's too late. Three options down the bottom there. Should I do this one? Yep, get the replenishment. Okay, now you're in you're in neutral territory at the moment, sort of. I would actually recommend putting Master Mundi back in his capital. Why? You're not really strong enough to attack the enemy capital. By the time you get there, they're going to have a lot of troops, and you've got a very small army. Which one's the enemy army. capital? Over there, Skeggy. You're not going to be able to beat that. Mm -hmm. So what you can do is you can send them back to Hexawaddle, and you can continue recruiting. It's just graphics. Don't worry about that. Put him back in the capital. Yeah. That way he can recruit. You can't recruit where you're currently standing. He's stuck. Uh, force march him. I don't know how to do that. The green, the green bar down the bottom. Grab that, and the one. Yep, that's it. Force march. You won't be able to recruit, but at least he'll be able to heal. Okay, then click on Hexoartle and build something. So upgrade the settlement. It's currently at level one. Build it to level two. Build this to level two. No, no, the the main building. This. Yep. And then with the empty slot there, let's see what you can build. Probably build the gold. This? Uh, in the resources, yeah. There we go. Done? Do uh, I get, like, special effects for him? Yeah, he needs to, like, give him a level up. He just he gained a level. How do I do it? Uh, click that, and then... Do you see where it says 2 on the left there? Mm -hmm. Click that button. Then pick one. So you can improve his magic, improve his ability to provide leadership to his uh, own troops, or make him faster mover. I'd give him Root Marcher personally, but it's up to you. You give him this one? Yep. 
Done? Yep. Did I do good? It's only the beginning, but yeah, you did well. Will people come and attack me? Yep. Really? Yep, they will. slow. Yeah, the end turn times take a while, but what are you going to do? There's a lot of factions in the game. What happened? Anything? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. There's a Skaven army up near the Fallen Gates. This? I don't think you're at war with them. Just... No, yeah, you are at war with them. Um, there'll be a lot more than just that. I'd recommend standing... Get out of Force March. This? Yeah, just go what back do the to other ones mean, march. though? So go back to the one where it's just like... Just a line. Yeah, but what do these ones mean? So there's ambush stats, so you can commit ambushes. Go to this one? Yeah, that's what I'd recommend. And just go and sit in hex a while. Oh, that's no fun. Well, do whatever you want then. But now you can recruit. So there's a little button. There we go. Got it. You can recruit up to three units this time. Mm. Do I have the money? Oh, am. Yeah. Will that do? Yep. He can't recruit anymore anyway. Now what? Well, that's all he can do. When he's in the mustering phase, he can't make any more movements. This is why I wanted you to sit in Hexavital. He can muster and also replenish faster as well. Oh, you didn't tell me how to do that first. So I can't move him now. Well, you can just cancel your recruitment and then, oh. then move again. How do I cancel them? Just click on the icon that says... Uh, when they, See how they're down in, the, in your list? Oh. Just click on them. Move him in there here first. Yep. And he'll gain about twice as good replenishment, so that'll just get your army up, up to scratch as soon as possible. Does this mean I can get different kinds of units? Oh no, the same. Yeah. Global recruitment, don't worry about that right now, but that allows you to re increase your recruitment capabilities at a slower rate and at a higher cost. Mm, okay, so we get these ones. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> What does this mean? Can I build more stuff? No, it's got two turns until it finishes. Oh. Don't click on it. So, that's it? That's it. Uh, maybe click on the tech icon. It's just on the bottom right there. Mm, this one? No. Up. This one? No. Uh, this no. One? Uh, this one? There we go. <laughs> okay, so none of them's available just yet. Won't worry about that right now. And you can go into diplomacy and maybe try to negotiate some deals with nearby factions, but to be Boring. honest, yeah, they're not going to agree to anything Should anyway. Should I just end the turn? Just end the turn. Right, so, the other day I posted on Twitter that we were going to do this video, and there was a couple of people posted some questions to ask, but to be honest, some of them were pretty shit. <laughs> oh my god, what's happening? Does that mean other people have collaborated or something? No, they're sending you a deal. This dude. So he wants a non-aggression pact with you. Is he this one here? Yeah. Should I do it? I think I think no. Why no? Um because then I won't be able to attack him. You've already got three enemies. Oh, so you think I should do it? Yeah. Oh. Alright. What do I click this? Yep. You probably could have negotiated some payment for him to pay, but he probably wouldn't have accepted anyway. No. You're lucky to get that deal, to be, to be honest. Alright. 
So I'm not going to answer every que or ask every question because some of them aren't very interesting. But let's see here. So Nicholas Popper asks if you'd be willing to show up in more of my videos. Would people want to see me in more? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> maybe if people comment on the video and they like it, I'll do more. Yeah. Stroke her ego and maybe she'll come. <laughs> more. Oh, shit. <laughs> the innuendo on that one. I, I thought that was try. intended. It wasn't intended. All right. Um, now, there's, nothing seems to have changed. Well, yeah, it's just another turn that's passed. So, should I attack these dudes? I mean, I, I kind of already know that there's a lot of scave in there. But it's boring to just do nothing. Yeah, what, it what is. What can I do? It what is. about this? No. Don't go down there. Secure the province that you've got first. I mean, on one hand, you should beat them, but... What about I don't this know. one? No, don't, don't go and occupy any ruins. No, that's, a, that's a, like a treasure. Don't do that. It'll leave your capital undefended. My biggest concern is that if you go over to Fallen Gates, I think you'll lose that battle. Okay, so what should I do now? Recruit more. Oh. Uh. Click on his icon. Oh, on yeah. his banner. Above the city. This? Yeah. I'll ask more questions during the end turn. Okay, in my opinion, the skin cohort with Javelin is far superior than to regular skin cohort. Even though they do cost more, they're they're still just better. Uh, yeah, I like them better too, but I thought I should try and be a bit more even. You don't you don't need to have variety in your armies. Okay. You pick the strongest units and just make it work. Alright, so this one will do? Yep. Can't do anything. Yeah, I know. Move on. It's not an easy campaign, this one. I've struggled with this one myself. Not easy how, like, because you don't have a strong enough army? It's not just that. It's also that the enemies that you go up against build up very quickly, and you just don't have much to work with. Like, Mazda Mundi is a very powerful lord, but once he gets leveled up. So a lot of what you're going to be doing in the early part of the campaign is just fending off wave after wave of either Skaven or or Norskan scum. Now the thing is, if you take the Fallen Gates, what will happen is the Dark Elves will declare war on you. So there's no real good outcome to anything that you do as the... Uh, they're still not coming for me. They will. Like, it's not going to happen just yet. You can see that they are building up their army. How can I see that? Well, By that bar? The, yeah, the bar is getting bigger. How big can my army get? You can have another six more units in your army. So you have two more turns of recruitment and you'd be at max strength. And then I should go, if they're not already here. No, I reckon you should wait for them to come to you. Oh, so I just keep, like, building up an ending turn? Well, at least for another two more turns, recruit some more troops. Just more of these? Yep. I should be able to build here now, yeah? Yep, so you got two more build slots. Can't upgrade any of that stuff. Well, yeah, you don't have enough money. Ah. So... Wait, will this give me better units? You can't build anything in that one. Will this give me better units? Yes, you should probably build an underground lagoon. Not, not yet, let's just think about it. Um, go to the green bar there. Probably best to build, build that. That'll provide you with some income. And then go up again to green. I'd probably go with that building. This? Yeah, it will it provide... Do? It'll help the province to grow faster and allow your casualty replenishment rate to go up a bit higher. Okay. Unassigned skill point. Yeah, so your hero... Your hero is leveled up. Do I click this? No, it's the wrong one. Click on the... See, if you look on the... In your army, see the guy with the yellow arrow? What? Yellow chevron. This one? Yeah. He's leveled up. Oh, so it's not the main guy? No. Heroes level up His as name's well. Cricket! Yep. You can rename him if you want. No, I think that's cute. I can get any one of these? Yep. Seems stupid. 
Is it stupid or no, are you I laughing kind of because agree. I'm an idiot? No, no, I kind oh. of agree. Additional three casualties inflicted. That's with agent actions. You're probably not going to be doing any of that on legendary difficulty. What about this one? No, you're not going to be using it. Probably not, not. Not any of these then? Spread public order's okay, but you'd probably want him to be a predatory fighter. That gives him extra combat skill. Which is what you're going to be using him for. All good. Look at the little dragon flying around. It's a, um, pterodon. Okay, oh, oh, that's cute. So, Expelldux wants to ask what your first impressions of me was. My first impressions? Do they know we met at uni? Yeah. Well, we met at uni and... What's uni? College? Yeah, Is that go. what they call it? <laughs> <laughs> um, and I first saw him, there was a hand into his backpack and then he brings out a water bottle, but... His, it, he was like holding it with the back of his hand because they're all the double jointed. Have they seen that you're double jointed? Yeah. Yeah. And my first impression was like, whoa, that dude's flexible. Uh -huh. <laughs> do I just do the same thing again this turn? Um, I don't know. Maybe not this time. You're low on funds. Uh, click the tick there. And also, we should try to initiate a battle with them. All right. Like, we're almost at full strength, but yeah, you don't have much money and you want to save some money for buildings. What I'd recommend is move... You, I think we want to organize an ambush for the Skaven. Do you see the jungle? So change this to ambush? No, no, no. They can't move whilst they're in ambush dance, so you have to move first. Oh. Do you see the little bits of jungle that's fairly close to Hexawaddle? This there? one? Yeah. Move into the center of that. Here? Yeah. Then change your stance to ambush. And what does it mean? Okay, that means that your army oh, will they be can't hidden. See me. They won't be able to see you. There's certain areas of higher chances of success than others, so naturally the jungle would have a higher chance of success. What that's going to mean is they're not going to be able to see you. They'll notice that Hexawaddle seems undefended, and they'll send. They might send an army to attack you. Okay. Okay. You've also got a research available now. There's a technology available, so. Might as well get started on that, doesn't cost anything. How do you know? Well, it says it's there, research available. Oh. Is that all I have to do? Yeah, so that'll be done in four turns. Now, if you have a look at Hexoidal, you might want to build something. No, don't upgrade that. Okay, so done? Done. Cold in here. Alright, let's see if there's any more questions. Here's one, it's not a very well-worded question, but your opinion, if it was hard, and if you liked it or not, when I first started doing YouTube. When you first started when doing When I first started, so you know, it's obviously it's yeah. okay now, now that I've got success, but when well, I... Well, no, I think it's still hard because of the hours, you know, because I think some of your audience might not realize that he's up in the middle of the night and then I work kind of shitty hours as well, so... But, yeah, it's hard at first as well, too, I guess. Financially and... I don't know, what would you say? Yeah, I was working myself to the bone. Yeah, it's definitely hard. You've got to be committed. What's this mean? They disappeared. Don't worry about it. They're not coming yet. Um, just give it time. Should I just stay there? Yep, I'll have a look in Hexawaddle again, see if there's anything we can upgrade. Maybe upgrade the gold mine. This one? Yeah. They'll eventually come. Can I, like, recruit units in here to protect it? No, or because you... it's not medieval too. Ah, uh, so you have to, like, have a person, an army in there. Every time you upgrade the settlement, the, the army... It's got a garrison in there. If you have a look at this button here, 
Yeah, that one. That'll show you what units you've got just sitting in the city. These ones? Yeah, but you can't so if somebody, move them out. No, but if somebody attacks me, they'll defend it. Yeah. Ah. Isthmus of Austria. Don't worry about that. What is it? That's just the province name. Huh. Uh, what's all this? It's nothing. Just ignore it. Recruit hero. Nothing oh. will be available. Okay, so is that the end of it? Yep. So oh. mechanics will become available oh, as the game. It's a bit boring. Yep. I don't want to fight. Well, we're trying to get a fight, but we have to make sure we're going to win it. See if there's some other questions. Are they gonna do it? Yeah. <laughs> there goes, <Gemma. laughs> they lit a fire. Yeah, they're raiding. They didn't. It doesn't matter. This is actually good because they've at least moved moving away from their fallen gates. So now you can attack them. Get out of ambush to attack and attack them. I think they've got another army standing behind them though, so. Just be, just be careful. Alright, so get out of ambush stance. How do you know there's another army behind I saw them move. It's probably hiding. Make sure you, make sure it's got the actual sword icon before you attack it. Like you actually I wasn't, clicking. I was just looking at, I just thought if I clicked on it maybe I could see oh, yeah, something. Oh yeah, click on it and have a look. No, Gracia, never That's like That's just his name. Ah. Oh. I thought they would give me the plague if I attacked them or something. Mm, Is of. that a thing? No, not really. They can give you the plague, but they have to actually deliver it to you. Can I beat them? I don't know what they're... I don't know if they've got another army behind them, but yes, you should be able to beat them if you keep your wits about so you. So just do it? Yep. <laughs> They ran. Ah, oh, damn it. No good? No, no good. Remove back. Go back? Yeah, because they'll have the garrison at the Fallen Gates. Go there. Go back and go back into ambush. Back dance. here? Yep. Why don't I just go back here? Oh, yeah, you, yeah, actually, that might be better. Or even better, go just to a little bit to the, here? To the right. No, 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 not quite. Here? Yeah, there. And then back into ambush. Ambush dance, yeah. Okay. And then we wait again for them to come out. Yep. Meanwhile, that's building up. Do you think, like, because it's AI, like a, a human player would, like, know that I'm there? No, not necessarily. Well, yeah, I guess Because so. they've already seen me. Yeah, yeah, they, they don't, they forget. Mm, okay. Is that it? Do I need to do anything? I send turn. Got no money. Well, you spent it. You got a decent income. It costs money to upkeep your army. Yes. Which is why we didn't recruit those other three units. Can you go, what happens if you go into debt? Can your you go into units, debt? yeah. No, you don't go into debt, but when you're bankrupt, your your army will abandon you. All of them, or just the ones that they get paid? It'll go by 10% a turn. Ah. Got him. What's happening? They bypassed your ambush, but he's in your zone of control. You'll be able to attack him next turn. No problem. So do they choose not to attack me, or they just didn't see me? In no, I don't know. He walked right into your ambush while you were in ambush dance. So it said that your ambush was foiled. So they, they, they just, you just didn't succeed. Uh -huh. But at the end of the day... Is there an advantage to ambushing them or something? No, not really. It's just a good way of attacking them when they're they're um, not strong. Okay, so now get your army and attack him. Change this. It's already it's already out of ambush. Oh. It's been discovered. He did it again. Yeah, but see, this time he's not near the fallen gates. Yeah, so I can attack him again. Yeah, that's the whole point was to not let his reinforcements get him, catch up to him. Oh. It looks good. Yep, fire it manually. 
but what if I fuck it up? Just to use very simple strategies. Okay? okay, keep it simple. Don't go convoluted all over the place. Keep your army together and you'll be fine. Remember that Mazda Mundi provides healing buffs, so just keep your them after they break. I don't understand why we didn't use the powers before in the last one. What power buffs? Well, you just didn't need it. Like, healing is sometimes more important. Oh, like, you, okay. if you're going to beat them in melee anyway. Should I gamble this? It's up to you. Did you say I can go up to 30? Yeah. So, yes. I can only click it once. You can only click it once. It's up to you. Oh man! Can I click it again? Nope. <laughs> Whoops. So here's what I would recommend. I would recommend a first line of the skink javelins, yeah. so that when their force comes at you, your javelins are thrown at them. Can I, I can I put them here or no? No, because your deployment zone. So is... I have to move the other ones back, kind of. Yeah. No, not that far back. I'm just doing it so I can see. Give me a sec. You want to get out of those trees. Yeah, but there's trees everywhere. I'll so. also teach you another technique to, to move your entire army in formation, but I can't do it right now. Alright, well, let me get it in formation because, like, they're all the way over there. I kind of want them to be, like, here, don't I? Yeah, go a little... Yeah, that's fine. You can go a little bit wider than that. Like that? Yeah. Right, and then... Put them right behind him. Go with the infantry first. Is this infantry? Yeah, all of those four units there are all infantry. So, put them all behind them. Not... No? A little bit more to the left. Yeah? Yeah, and go go wider. Like this? Yeah, don't, don't make it in square formation, you don't need it. So that's the animal... What's this one again? Oxygores. So keep them behind the infantry, just to begin with. Keep these two behind the infantry. Yep. Along with the heroes. Keep them behind the infantry. That's fine. Okay, yes. now select all of them by pressing Control A. Okay, now start the battle. Hold Alt down. And then click and drag the entire army around. Click and drag it like that? Like, click on them, click. click on them, click on the any unit, and you can drag them a little bit. I don't understand. Ah, oh, fuck it. The enemy is already coming towards you. Well, I don't know you. what you mean. Do I just click, right click or no? Click, hold, alt. Yeah. Okay. Then, left click. Just yeah. a little bit, move them forward. No. Mm. Sorry, but I said click and drag, not click. Like this? Yeah, there you go, you got it. Okay, just say that next time. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not good at explaining things. Do I have to keep holding Alt to do this? Yeah, don't worry, that's enough, that's enough. Stop. Now get them to shoot? They'll they'll fire at will. Will they? Yeah. What the shit? Did someone, like, throw yeah, they, a rock at me? No, no, they had rats come out of the ground. Don't Just ignore them, you'll be fine. Uh, what should I do? Zoom in a little bit, maybe. Hard to see. And get those fucking trees out of these? the way. What about these? How do I get the trees out of the way? Yeah, I know. There's nothing you can do about that. Yeah, get the crocs, of course. Get, get all your troops up and fighting now. Okay, maybe use Master Mundy's healing ability on that skink that's taking damage. Or you can maybe boost its strength since it's actually losing the combat. It's up to you. This, this one, then? If you want. Is that what you meant? Yep. What's that? It means he's wavering. Get Master Mundi up there. Get the two heroes. They'll provide him with morale buffs. Yep, get your infantry moving forward. Didn't just, use up all the javelins. Just push them okay. through? Yeah, they'll be fine. Hi. Could try and flank, but in all honesty, the Skaven are gonna break before you can There's get there. There's too many there. trees. I know. I know. You're, in, you're in tree fucking place. There's not much you can do about it. Okay, get your Bastilodon to attack the enemy general. He's hidden by a tree. So move forward. There he is. I see him. Well, help me out. I don't understand. He's there. Th did I do it right? Yep, you got him. Use Master Mundi's magic. Which one? This it's one? It's up to you. I'm not going to tell you everything. Oh. Did it work? Yep. Is 
Is it going okay? Yeah, you'll win. Unfortunately, your your guy that broke is routing into the enemy. So, it's just bad AI when it does that kind of stuff. There's nothing you can do about it. Send um, send the hero into combat as well. Yeah. Okay. Where to? Try to flank the enemy if you can. So, you've got an infantry unit just sitting around doing nothing. Yeah, come around the enemy's rear and flank him. It'll help to break them. And also just do damage faster. Master Mundy can also fight as well. Yeah, but I don't want him to die. He's not going to die. These, really? are, these are weak, weak rats. Send him into that blob right in front of him. Oh, here? Yeah. Hmm. Probably wouldn't bother healing that unit now. Because what, they're just gone? No, they're not necessarily gone. It's just... I just keep it out of combat. The thing is, you can't revive their casualties. You can only heal the ones that are there. Where is it? It's it's run off. Is it's it? Like, don't worry about it. Not worth bothering with it. Focus on the units that didn't act like cowards. But healing like the Bastilladon might be a good idea. Because it'll retain that healing in the next fight. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that them? Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe bring them back, they should be safe to come back. Mm. Master Mundus should be able to heal again. Gotta keep healing because that magic's recharging. Heal this? Otherwise it's going to waste, yep. <coughs> and then send it back into combat. It's not doing anything. I'd... There's too much to focus on. Yeah. Are they not doing anything? No. Is he chasing them? Yeah, I probably wouldn't get him to chase. Stay, stay closely. Maybe go find the enemy general. Oops, I clicked the wrong one. <coughs> Where's the enemy general? I don't know how to identify it. By the star icon. This one here? Yeah, it is. What? Did I just shoot poison or something? Yeah, he used a magic spell. It's alright, He's you've won. Don't kill him. Tell you meant to stop fighting him. Uh, how do I do that? Uh, actually, just end the battle. Did that do good? You're okay. Oh, I still won. Yeah, you won. Could have done better though. There's too many different things to. Look I know, at. I know, and I can't, I can't like verbally give commands very well. I'm used to just doing things. This thing again? Up to you. Is experience good? Um, it's okay. So which one? I'll let you decide. I want to do that one for And now that you've taken him out, firstly level up your, your guys, and then maybe attack the Fallen Gates. Level this up? Yep. This one? Um, I would actually upgrade his magic. Oh, hang on, let me, let me think. Yeah, upgrade his magic. Which one's that? That harmonic convergence. Huh? Harmonic convergence. Oh, this one? Yeah. But it says cooldown is minus 30%. Don't worry about that. that you just need to l learn that in order to get to the better spells. Once oh. you get the better spells, that's when he really becomes powerful. Do I just have the one point? That's all you got. Assign skill points. Or is that for this guy? Yep. 
<laughs> no, don't disband it. Awesome. I just wanted to see what that said. Enforcer of order. Hmm. Maybe this one? Sure. Maybe this fine. one. This one. Yep. Yeah. Should I attack the city? Hang on. Yep. Select the army. Yep. And then... Yeah, I think there's another army there, but I think you can handle it. It's going to be more difficult than the previous battle, but you should manage. Because they're in the city. Uh, they've got a larger army, and you've got a smaller army now. Odds are about even, so you're going to have to do well. Okay. I, I think you'll succeed. You've got some advantages that they don't... Here's some more questions. Why did you marry Legend? Because <laughs> he asked me. <laughs> some more questions that. Yeah. That's 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 it pretty much. Look, I did it. So I'm not going to give you any advice on this battle. This is all up to you. Are they in here somewhere? Look, what happens if you fall in there? You can't. So we don't know where they are. Well, they're in their zone of control. Will they be inside this red box? Yeah. Also, I don't have to fight them in the actual city. No, sort of, no. Oh, okay. So even someone who doesn't know anything about the game can see that that's off. doing the same kind of thing as last time. It's okay, it's an effective strategy. Sacrifice your weakest units first, leave your elite units to continue the fight afterwards. They're coming! Is this water? Okay. Yeah, so what you might want to do is grab Mazda Mundi. Mm. Do you see that ability on his left? Yeah. Use that on himself. Like this? Hang on. Could you click on him? I haven't used that ability in ages. Yeah. Just um, hover over it. Have they changed what that ability does? Yeah, that ability there. Oh, they did change it. So did it used to thing? provide healing. Now it doesn't. Uh -oh. Well, then use apotheosis on himself. I just want to like move things a bit. Okay, that's fine. That. Did rats come out of the ground again? Yeah, they can they can summon rats out of the ground a number of times. No. No? So I'm not how do I stop it? Well I don't know. Press escape. You're way too close. What but You gotta keep your army together. No, don't chase them. No? Oh, sorry, I'm not gonna tell you what to do. You no. just said that I know, before. I know, I know, I know, I just can't help it. But they're just gonna come back. No, they're not. They they disintegrate over time. Okay. No more advice from here. You're gonna fight the whole battle by yourself now. Is this my monster thing? Yeah. So is there like a buff in the water for some people or something? It's not that they get a buff, it's small units get a debuff. Small units as in what? Less of them or like they are smaller? As in like infantry. So units that are big, like monsters, don't get a debuff. I don't know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. 
Nothing's happening. It's because you're attacking. Oh. But you told me not to move them. No, I told you not to move them separately. Keep your army together. Oh, but there's too many buttons. That's all too hard. As I said before, with the whole, you keep your army in formation and then you just use the alt button to move oh, the whole right, thing in on. formation. You're not in good formation right now. Sorry, this is a bit boring because I don't know what I'm doing. It's only boring because you're not doing anything. Well, I'm trying to fix it. Is it fixed now? I can't remember how you do it. Like this? Okay, so control A. Oh, I forgot to press out. Okay, hold alt. You have to select one. There you go. And they'll just fire at will. As soon as they're within range. If you hold down spacebar, you can see what their range is. How do I turn them, though? Hold down control. Oh, it's going to get too complicated if I tell you how to do that right now. Shooting? Oh, they are shooting. My dudes are like. Small, but I guess they were small to start with. Probably stuffed this up. You're probably all laughing at me. Is it really bad? Uh, not so bad. <laughs> I mean, you're not doing great, like amazing, but this, it's your first time playing it, so don't worry about it. I think you're gonna win. Should I not be chasing them off the, like when they're doing that? Um, a general rule of thumb is only chase them if you're faster than them. And in this case, you're not. What's happening here? Those were routing units that, re um, that recovered. Well, you don't know what this game then. <laughs> this is a small scale battle for what's probably going to come. Oh, God. 
Just wait till three Skeggy armies show up at Hexavital. I'm not doing very well, am I? You're doing fine. I've lost something. Sorry, you need to shattered. They shat themselves. Berserk. Well, actually, it's called Rampage. I don't, know. I don't know how to stop it. Right click. I don't think I'm going to win. You are going to win. You've killed the enemy general. What's all this? So your units went chasing them off, and then they ran off the battlefield, and then your units don't have any orders, so they're just sitting there. Oh, God. Too hard to keep an eye on everyone. And this is why I say keep your army together. Much easier to keep your eye on them. See where that thing is. Double click on it. Oh yeah. Should I click end battle? There's no point running them down. Units. <laughs> yeah, it did. I don't know if any of your units got wiped out though, so... Oh, I think one did. Or at least it disappeared off the screen. That just means that they shattered. It means that their morale broke to the point where they're not going to come back. Oh. That doesn't necessarily mean they're dead. I mean, those units aren't, aren't your finest, so... They're not going to fight to the death. Whereas your temple guard will most likely fight to the death. So four options, what do you want to do? Victed. We will return. This one. What you want? Yeah, so they've been eliminated. Cool. Let's have a look at your army. Yeah, no units got wiped out, and they'll just replenish over the next few turns. What does the yellow mean? Is that what's going to replenish? Yep. And Master Mighty is going to level up. Can I, like, add more? If you want. I probably wouldn't at this stage. Why? You're not going to be fighting anything next turn, and so you're just going to increase your upkeep costs. Oh. But they're not it's instant, are they? Yeah, they... Well, they don't recruit instantly, but you're still not going to be fighting the next turn or so. Oh. Anyway, you've got some um, spells to do. Uh, okay, so I would recommend doing Curse of the Midnight Wind. Very, very good spell. Um, where does it? I just there's so much stuff. Where does it actually say what it does? 
Well, you have to hover over it. I'm hovering over it. You're hovering over apotheosis. And I'm trying to read, like, what does that one do? It replenishes hit points of combatants. So that's where I need to be looking. What does this one do? It pins them in place. Why does it say that? S see where it says what their effect is? Effect cannot move. Oh. Extended effect duration. Why would I want minus armor and that? That affects the enemies. How do you know though? Because it says target, ground, enemy. Oh. So confusing. I'll just do what you said. Yeah. Do I have more? Nope, just the one point. So click on the fallen gates and there might be something to build there. You must die. If you want you can upgrade the um I wouldn't I wouldn't upgrade that. Yeah, you can upgrade that one. That one's one good. So click this. If you want. The two options I would go with is either upgrading Fallen Gates or upgrading the money. Is this one the money? No. The other one was. It's already... No, no, the, the one next to that. No. To the right. That one there, that's money. That's the one I was on, though. Yeah. So that'll give you an extra 90 income per turn. Right, You've still got enough money that you can upgrade the other fallen gates. What does this do? It gives you extra growth per turn. Growth. You don't really need it that much more. Uh, you can upgrade fallen gates. What do you mean? You just said you don't really need it. No. Okay, so that's what you were looking at there. Yeah. That's fallen gates. Oh, I thought the whole thing was. Oh, I thought the whole thing was Fallen Gates. No. Oh, okay. You've got two cities I now. I was clicked onto this one, yeah, though. Yeah, it shows you it on a per-province basis, so there's settlements that are selected on each oh, province. I was confused. Okay. So I'll upgrade this thing. Yeah, you can upgrade that to level two. Right. Okay, now you got no money left in the turn. So, should we start... Uh Cool. We'll just wait until this end turns over, and then we'll just go for another hour, and then... <laughs> I don't think so. That could be episode two. <laughs> do you even want to do an episode two? Mm, I don't know. Maybe. If people want to see it. Okay. Well, we'll see how it goes. What do you think of the game so far? Um, what do I think of the game? Hmm, I think it's okay. I'm glad there's not too much like building and. I'm the opposite. I want more I of that, that stuff I designed for you. So <laughs> what you want out of these games is not what they should be doing. What does this mean? You got a, a dilemma. You pick one of them. What's the benefit of the destroy until I haven't actually seen this one. I just hover over. Let me have a look. Right. So I'd probably go the other one, but it's up to you. Can you? I You're unlikely going to be sacking anything. Well, I just don't know what's going on unless they let me don't read it. Don't need to read it. But then tell me what it's doing. It's not doing anything. Just get the money. Recover the plaque. Yeah. So. Do they steal give a plaque from me? It's just a thing that pops up. It has very little relevance to the campaign. They'll just give you some free money. Well, I could have read it in the amount of time we were just talking about that. Okay, well, it was wasting time. All right, we done? Yep. How about you do an outro? Oh. See you next time, fuckers. Is that the outro? We stopped doing that. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. It's fine. <laughs> we'll see you next time, fuckers. Let us know if you want a part two. Yeah, that's all. See ya. Bye.